Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie, and I'm back from the video, and today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are going to the Atlanta Falcons season opener. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So in today's video, today is, what day is today? I gotta go to my calendar, actually. Today is, my calendar is a little behind, because, you know, I'm a little, a little two months behind. This is August, no, we're not in August. Yeah, right now it's on June, and we're in September. It is September 10th. Today is September 10th, 2023. And basically, we are going to the Falcons season opener. The Atlanta Falcons are playing the Carolina Panthers at 1 p.m. And the time is about 10.40 a.m. So we still got some time. Me, my dad, and my sister were going to the Atlanta Falcons games. And hopefully, we win today. With that said, I do have some prize picks for today. This is not sponsored or nothing. Um, but yeah, basically, they had a deal going on for Dak Prescott. If he gets over 0.5 yards. Um, and basically, I took that deal. And basically, I have two different bets. I have one bet with that and then B. John Robinson. I have that on the screen somewhere. And then two, I have that bet with Dak and then Koo and Drake London. So hopefully those two hit and I'll have them up on the screen somewhere. And basically, you know, this might be my last time I ever gamble. I'm not promoting gambling or nothing. Um, but yeah, I might be addicted to gambling. With that said, though, I'm about to go show you guys my fit. And yeah, today is the first day back from my cruise. If you guys did not know, I have been on the cruise from let me go back to my calendar i have been on the cruise from september i've been on the cruise since september 4th to september 9th and um, which was a monday through saturday and i got back saturday night and today is sunday september 10th 2023 and so yeah this is the first video i'm filming back with that said i'll be putting together some cruise videos soon once i come back i just thought this would be an easier video for me to film edit and upload for this wednesday which is plus three september 13 2023 dang i'm doing a lot of math I, i'm done with school i don't want to do this no more but with that said though we are going to just bring you guys along on my adventure don't know how much i'm gonna film um we're just gonna see what happens um yeah with that said I'm back on the grind. I had a great vacation. I miss it so much. I'm living on cruises, bro. Cruises are so fun, bro. I love cruises now, bro. Those are my favorite things. I've been looking at cruises. I'm trying to go on more cruises because they're just so fun. Um, but the one downfall that I had this cruise was that I went with my sister and everyone that me and my sister were dating. Not all Asians who was a male and a female, 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 male, male, were not dating, bro. Not all Asians fucking date, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, that was my sister. And, like, everyone on the cruise was like, yeah, we thought y'all were dating. Like, I was at the gym with my sister, and some guy was like, yeah, your wife dropped her card to get into the room. I was like, bro, what? That's not my wife. That's my sister, bro. That's crazy. Um, it's just funny. Stay tuned for some more cruise story times. And, yeah, just stay tuned for, like, a whole cruise log and then even the review of between Royal Caribbean and the Carnival and the review over the ship. And, yeah, I've been watching a lot of ship videos, so hopefully my video that I filmed is good. But enough about the ship talk. Enough about the cruises. We are here on today's video where we're going to see my Atlanta Falcons win. Well, I'm... I am so excited for the season because, bruh, it feels good. Like, I'm so confident in our team right now. I believe in Desmond. I believe in Drake London. Bijan, Tyler, Kyle, for the whole old line, bruh. Shout out to Jake Matthews, Matthew Burrington, Matt Dahlman, um, Chris Lindstrom, and Caleb McGarry. I think that's our starting lineup, um, but I don't know because that's just off the top of my head. I'm excited to see this defense play. It sucks that Jeff Okuda is not playing, and Cordero Patterson is on the watch list he's questionable um but i'm excited to see jesse bates richie grant aj terrell um i'm excited to see troy anderson and kaden ellis play i'm excited for this d line calais campbell grady jared bro i'm i hope i'm hoping we get like five sacks today bro please if we can get five sacks today but i'll be such a happy man i'm a defensive player minded like i used to play defensive end so i want some sacks today bro i want some sacks with that said, I'm ripping my cool jersey. Yes, it's seven. Y'all might think it's a B. John Robinson jersey. No, this is the jersey I got last Christmas for my sister. So, yeah, I kind of bad timing. Um, I got the cool jersey in seven. Um, but, yeah, people can be like, oh, is that B. John? I'm like, no, it's cool. Cool, the go. Um, I don't know if y'all can see, but, yeah, I'm going to show y'all my jersey and outfit later. With that said, I'm so excited. We're playing the Carolina Panthers. Um, and, yeah, it's always going to be a good game. It's the Battle of I-85. 
my first games or one of my first games I ever went to was the Falcons versus the Carolina Panthers. And I don't remember the exact date because I was too young, but I actually have the ticket right here, which is kind of crazy. I didn't even realize that, but I guessed um, September 30th, 2012 at 1 p.m. We played the Panthers. And if you know anything about this game right here, so basically it was around the end of the fourth Close to the end, me and my sister decided to leave the game because the Falcons were down by, like, two points. And we thought we were going to lose. So, we were like, let's beat traffic. Me, at a young time, I was like, okay, whatever. Um, but as we were in the martyr station waiting for the martyr, that's when the Falcons won. And here is the play that won us. No Superman on that play. No Superman. No. Falcons begin the final drive here. Wow. From the one-yard line. special team And what time is it? Left. Matty Ice time. Oh. What has Matty Ice time meant over the last three years? 99 yards Come away. Back. Here we go. Where's Roddy White? Where's the safety? That's the wow. question. Huh? Wow. Now, number 43. I'm uh, 36 years old. Coming off knee injury. You're going to say I can make that play. <laughs> you, now, said, really, you said non existent safety, safety earlier. When we see guys that retire and they see plays like this, they always think, oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, I, I could come, come back say, and play, really, make this I've play. I've seen you go after the buffet in there. There's no way you can <laughs> make that play. <laughs> Matt Ryan. Give Matt me a little time. Ryan's 40 yards out. That was 10 seconds left. Unbelievable. Matt Ice, there he is. Falcons come back to win 30 to 28 in Atlanta, unbeaten on the season. Coming back 99 yards away. Yeah, so I missed that play from the Matt Ryan to Wally Wright connection to set up Matt Bryant for the game winning field goal. I missed that play in person, but I was at that game. <sighs> so hopefully we can get a good game today. I'm excited. I think I've rambled enough. So with that said, let's go to the outfit of the day. So right now the OOTD, the outfit of the day, is just a cool jersey, my chain, and I got some red Nike shorts. Hopefully this looks good. We are wearing black jerseys today. Um, got my glasses. And actually, I lost my cross earring somewhere on the cruise or something like that. So now I just have these two earrings as I need to get more earrings. So yeah, let me know what kind of earrings I should get. But yeah, this is the basic fit. I think I'm just going to wear my dunks and call it a day. Um, but yeah, this is the fit. So yeah, I'm going to see how when I see how. I don't know how much I'm going to film, but we'll see what happens. And yeah, to keep it simple, I'm just wearing my red vans to match the fit. Um, so yeah, that's the fit for today. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. That's that's good and awareness though. Damn, that's how we start our season. Come on, you know that, that was. Is that Bijan? Yeah. Take that. Take that. 
it downs it. I think he got like six yards back. Oh, he got eight yards, okay. It's not looking good, bro. It's about to be one of those seasons, bro. Come on, bro. We need something big right here, bro. Please, I cannot live with another shitty ass season. Oh, look. It's Wally White. But they're about to score. I know they're about to score. Look at his ass, bro. Right, let's be with that type of season. Finally, at the seats. Let's see something big. I need a big play with something. It's running left. I'm making mistakes. Offsides, I, I think it's offside. Yeah, 
of the fourth tie, 10-10. And hey, let's win this game, bro. I'm so nervous. Just keep pounding. We'll take two. We'll take two. We'll take two. Why are you taking peas on now? Safety right here. 
play safety in the game. Something on the, 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 the Panthers, something happened. I right, pound it in. They got 12. They got 12. Hey, stop the ball. Stop the ball. Stop the ball. Get it up. Get it up. That's two. That's two.
Mission. Just like that, we are home from the Falcons game. Yes, I know a lot of you guys are probably clowning me for my poor price picks decisions. And yeah, this is why you don't gamble. Learn from me. I'm a bad gambler um, when it comes to sports betting, stuff like that. But I did lose my bets. It is what it is. You win some, and apparently I lose a lot some. With that said, though, I don't really care about those bets because the most important thing was that the Falcons won. With that said, I'm not going to lie. I was very, very nervous. Because I was like, dang, what a same old Falcons. Because the very first play of the game was a self-pass from Desmond Miller to himself. Because it got deflected and he caught it for a negative six yards. And not only that, our defense at the beginning of the game played a little sloppy. But I think that's just because it's the beginning of the season. But later on, the second half, we got a whole bunch of QB pressures. We got a whole bunch of sacks. We got two sacks. But that's better than none. And yeah, we did pretty well i was excited to watch this team play the one thing that i wish i saw more was i wish i saw more passes to drake london and kyle pitts but shout out to kyle pitts i think he got 40 something yards today which you know it's a good sign to start the season hopefully he can get 100 yards the next game or something like that same with drake london um desmond really looked a little scared to throw the ball and he was doing a lot of checks down to Bijan, as it shows as Bijan had 10 receptions shout out to Bijan robinson though because he had a huge amazing great rookie performance even though he didn't run the ball as well as i needed him to do for my prize six but he also had 10 receptions he 
did really good on the ground and in the passing game. So he was a huge safety option for Desmond Ritter. Shout out to Tyler Algerier as he had a huge rushing game. I think he had over 100 total yards um, combined with passing and rushing. Um, he ran all over the Panthers. Um, so huge shout out to him and two touchdowns. And shout out to Jesse Bate because he got two interceptions in the first half. He was a huge, huge, huge improvement to the defense. And last but not least, I know I was talking a lot of shit about the defense, but huge shout out to the defense as they were able to hold the Carolina Panthers to 10 points. And we picked off Bryce Young. We scared him. He looked intimidated the whole second half. And we did our jobs as he only had like a 44 passer rating. Uh, Desmond had like a 100-something passing rating. So, yeah, even though the team played a little sloppy at the beginning, we ultimately got the win. It wasn't a pretty win. It wasn't a beautiful win, but a win is a win. This makes me more excited for the future because, hey, man, I'm a huge Atlanta fan, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. And like I said, I don't care how we win as long as we win. So I'm very, very proud of the team. And, yeah, we're undefeated to start the season. We're one of the best teams in the league, statistically, because we're 1-0. But with that said, we're going to see what else happens this year, and I'm excited to see what happens. And... Yeah, hopefully I go to more games. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the future holds. Um, and yeah, shout out to the Falcons. Go Falcons. Falcons are my favorite team. And I hope you guys like my jersey because, you know, it's a cool jersey. But with that said, though, I don't think I have much else left to say um, because I know I can sit here and ramble on. But yeah, I'm proud of the team. I just hope we see more passes. Um, but we weren't expecting much passes as we already knew going to the season that we were going to be a run first offense and shit it worked we got over 100 rushing yards and we stuck with the game plan and we won with that said though i'm so excited for this season the season has been crazy um so far the chiefs lost to the lions um who else what other games happened um that's the only other game i really remember other than the falcons <laughs> but other than that yeah i'm just excited for this football season i'm a huge football guy and I'm telling you, Falcons are going to make the playoffs this year. But with all that being said, though, I don't think I have anything else left for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I know it's been all over the place, but, you know, I appreciate you guys staying and watching the whole video. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share your boys out.